Guys, we want to introduce to you the easiest braid to monofilament knot that you can possibly learn to use. Now, there's a handful of videos about the FG knot. This one is all about going backwards, and we want to show you the easiest knot. It's something that I've used. I don't use it as much anymore, but I definitely use it when I fish the estuaries all the time. It's not really designed for your big kind of stellar 18Ks, but it's fantastic for your lighter line classes, especially if you're fishing in your river system. So dive on in. This is the easiest braid to monofilament knot you're ever gonna learn. Okay, so let's dive right on in. We're gonna give you two POVs, the front on view, and then I'm gonna retie the knot from the camera behind me so you can see what it's like to tie this knot because it is so easy. Okay, Josiah behind the camera, come on in close. Let's tie this knot. So we've got our braid and we've got our mono. Now, one of the keys to this, like all great knots, is a bit of saliva. So you can see we've done about a shucker's length worth of mono on the braid, okay? Then, you bit of saliva, and this is the easy part. You just do a loop. All you do then is feed your braid and your mono, just like that, through the loop. I suggest doing it six times. Now, because I'm doing a video, I've lost count, but I'm pretty sure that was five or six. All you do is you hold the braid and the mono on both sides, and you pull that knot and that's gonna go nice and tight. You're gonna see you've got a very easy knot to tie. I'll actually cut off those tag ends just so you can see. Now it's important that you've got, these are quite blunt, but it's important that you've got sharp scissors to do this. So that's the braid there cut. And then I'll cut them on on this side. And that's the knot done. I like to use a lighter always and just burn off the tag ends. However, you don't have to it just keeps it looking nice and neat. But essentially, that is the guppy knot. It's the easiest knot you can possibly tie. But we do not recommend this for your heavier line classes. Try and keep it, you know, sub 50 pounds. So for your estuary fishing or your snapper fishing or your lighter jigging, I hope this has kind of given you guys a bit of insight. This is really good for people who are new to using braided lines and want to start using braid as their main line and run monofilament as a leader. That is the guppy knot and it is the easiest knot to use.